And now on the last video of the Roll Taylor series, we want I would like us to look at um the fastest way to create a roll center page. So you can create it from scratch if you want, but the best and fastest way is to use an existing roll center page that has the features that you want explore the over 20 role centers that have been created by microsoft as long as you have this extension the lsd dev tools that will enable you to be able to view the object uh, designer thanks to the nav people for a, a great great work in creating this extension they are, they are now the 65 people so uh, by ooh, I don't know if I can read this name. Andrej, oh my goodness. This name is, okay. Yeah, this is the name. Thanks to him for creating this amazing tool that can enable us navigate through the base application. For instance, you can open these symbols and be able to see existing role center pages. So when I click, this is um, a view that is a list view. You can have a tree view if you want. Uh, but uh, let me stick to the list view of my pages when i click on the pages i can be able to search for the page that i want for instance roll uh, let me search with roll so when i start with roll maybe roll center with the stars so i'm able to see the different roll centers that are available okay if i would like uh, probably to copy the administrator main role center i'll just go to definition and copy this whole page the way it is copy it and when i create a new file at uh, admin rtc mine now and then for instance i'll have a page that will be I'll just need to copy and paste this and then now change the ID to 5110, I believe so. And then uh, and then just call it admin, admin role tailor, something of the sort. Okay, I don't know if the number is right, 5010, 5112. My guessing. Okay, this one was fifty one hundred. So the last one was uh, fifty fifty one hundred. My goodness, what range do I have? Let me say fifty one fifty, just for this. What is happening? Fifty one hundred and. 49 okay so the page is now ready after reading the page i can now create the profile for this page and then i'm i'm, I'm now done so if i want to modify something maybe on the actions i'll now command either remove or add information that i want um for my for my own role so it's best to start with something that is has been done really well and then you add what you want to uh, maybe change or uh, make some improvements it makes your work much much easier so if i create a profile for this system admin okay i'm used to system admin this was supposed to be admin admin role center Call it admin RTC. Admin RTC. Uh, and then I'll have the caption to be the admin. And then the role to be the admin role center. So as easy as that, I've been able to create a role and I've assigned it to a profile. Uh, it's still having an red uh, 
time with the error. Okay, 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 okay. This is supposed to be for on prem. Let me just uh, delete, let me just comment that part. We are good to go. What else is have? Okay, so we are now good to go. We'll just build and we'll run the package and change our role to this particular profile. The profile is there. Uh, the profile is uh, admin RTC, the admin. That's the caption. So you just need to change to the admin and we are done. And some some few basics of the pages here, like queue setup administrator and other small small details is what we can change progressively. But the uh, toughest work of starting a role center from scratch, I believe if you need to move with speed and do a very good job, you don't need to do that. So here is the admin and then I'll click OK and my admin is ready. So I have already got my page from the default admin. Okay. Where is it now? Okay, there it is. You have system, system information, users. Here are the users, user groups. So from I, I already have my role center which I can improve the way I want Microsoft 365 teams rapid start services services with the configuration packages and data data management data migration uh, permission sets workflows and uh, all these these information is I have just realized that in my role center they didn't add key information like configuration packages but um, this is how you can be able to uh, at a very fast rate, create a role center and then now modify it to fit to what you want. Now, finally, we have now reached the end of this role tailor series. Um, in the next series, which I have, we have not yet determined, I have not yet determined that this series that will will be the next. I hope you will have benefited from this um, role tailor series, which has taken us. Uh, for a long period we have done it for quite some time and I hope it has been of benefit to you and you can be able to do very good role and you can be a good tailor of the roles so I hope to see you in the next series or the next video and may God bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.